Hello, and welcome to an unboxing video of the Dragons of Univer collection. Um, as you can see, there's three promo cards, three figures of the Dragons of Univer, and four booster packs. So, quite a big collection, you know. That's the back, if any of you are interested. It's basically a preamble saying about how Univer has dragons. And we can see them there. So, without further ado, let's get to opening this. Right, okay. I got the plastic off. Uh, clearly not the cardboard off, obviously. Uh, so, let's open this beauty up. No. Um, it's rather big, and I can't actually film from any ne uh, further away. So, I'll have to show you slowly by going through them. Now, hang on. Pull the lid off. Uh, aha, right. Let's get the promo cards out first. Promo cards are. Actually, fun fact these promo cards aren't actually promo promo cards because if we look down here, uh, right here, they're not actually promo, they're from sets. Uh, this is Noble Victories, I actually have this card, however, I do believe they've changed the holo pattern. Because, I um, don't know if you can make it there, but the one I have has a few like stripes and it's a more subtle holo pattern, whereas this is more in your face, kind of holo-y one. Um, right, so that was the no a Noble Victories card, which they've changed holo patterns for. Uh, this is rather difficult to get out. Then we have a Rushy Ram from. Oh, um, I want to say Plasma Freeze, but maybe it's not. Again, a ooh, a very nice hollow there. They've uh, they made it like colour greeting, as it were. So you don't just get pure silver; you get an actual colour that's holographic, which is lovely. Quite like that artwork. Never seen it before. And finally, we have Zekrom. Woo! There he is in all his cool black dragon y glory. And he's from the same set as Reshiram was, I believe. Um, again, a nice hollow pattern. Uh, very sparkly and stuff. So, yeah, so these are the three promo cards you get. Very nice. Uh, Kyrem is going to come in handy for my deck. So, if we get rid of that over there. Next, we have figures. No. As I get this Reshiram figure out, uh, I assumed it would have a base, but well, apparently it doesn't have a base. Okay, this Reshiram figure, hold on and wait for a jump cut. This figure, I already have! Woo! Hello, hello. I bought this in the MCM Expo in London a while ago, like months ago. So I'm assuming. This figure's been in some kind of release before, that the Dragons of the Universe thing isn't new. Also, I say a lie, the bases are actually here. If I remove the, uh, the booster packs, uh, you can see that they're actually there. Well done me. Observant as ever. So that's not his base. Neither is this. Maybe it's this one. Let's see. Jump cut. Splendid! There we go, he's on his base. Just like his friend. Yay! You guys chill in the corner there, where people can see you. Can you see them? Yes, you can. Nice. Next one is Zekrom. That's a very nice figure there. Um. Also, didn't go over the Reshiram figure much, just uh, just to show y'all. Nice face and stuff. Uh, it's a very well-made figure, actually, and, and I very much like this. Kind of wish they painted a bit of red and stuff, because he does glow red in the games, but whatever. He's still looking uh, majestic as ever. So anyway, Zekrom, I'm not going to lie, I've had a look at this figure. He looks pretty cool, but a bit derpy. 
he sort of he's looking off to the side there um I mean again if they'd painted this blue it would have been incredible but they didn't so you know um right let's put him on his base okay and we're back uh that was a very tight fit I'm not gonna lie there was his base is not the best but you know whatever um you know he's he's an okay looking statue I prefer Reshiram's statue even though I prefer Zekrom as a Pokemon. Um, and we have Kyrem. Woo, look at that majestic motherfucker. He's so old. Um, this is a very nice statue of Kyrem, actually. I have the figure, uh, which some of you may have seen in one of my figure reviews of the Pokemon 4-pack thingy. Um, yeah, Zekrom is looking pretty cool. He's from that angle, so he kind of looks like he does in the game, which is nice. Um, let's put him on a base. And here he is. Um, I'm actually quite happy with this because it means he can stand on his back legs. Whilst my Kyrem figure is pretty cool, he can't stand on his back legs because he's really top heavy. So it's actually nice to see him kind of all statuesque and stuff. So let's put him the other side. Uh, where y'all can see him, and let's get on with opening some booster packs. We have Plasma Blast, uh, Boundary Crossed, Dragons Exalted, and Next Destinies. Oh, okay. Let's do them in order, shall we? So, Next Destinies first, I believe. Pretty sure it's next destinies first. Anyway, whatever. We'll. Uh, I've not actually seen that artwork for the cover, and that's fucking awesome. That's a really cool Zekron there. Um, okay. Anyway, let's not rip this pack, shall we? Uh, it's been an exceptionally long video so far, and I apologise, but there's been a lot of extra shit in this box, and I am very happy personally with it. I think it's a great value for money. If you can get it for, you know, moderately cheap, I got it for like £13, and, you know. Right, the old card trick. Three, two, boom. Right, let's see. We have Ferro Seed, a Fungus, a Blitzel. An adorable Vanillite, an adorable Shinx, a Vanillish, now oh, that's very, uh, artwork's not coming up very well in the light here yeah, I'm afraid, ooh a Pokemon Center, a Raichu, I love that artwork of Raichu, that's a really nice Raichu card, a Reverse Lapras, yay! That's really nice, actually. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, shit, son! A Hollow Lucario! Yeah! Look at that! Wow! That's a nice card. That is a very nice card. And it's hollow. Oh, yeah! Well, this box has been a success already, because Lucario's a sexy motherfucker. No. Not in that, not in the VP kind of way. That's not, he's not, not that, not that kind of sexy. Um, but, you know, I mean, to each their own. You know, some people are into that, and I'm not one to judge. Dragon's Exalted next. Uh, let's move this over a bit. Dragon's Exalted, I'm hoping for a good one here because I have a fair amount of the set. I think I have like 60% of the set, so, you know. Right, two, three, two, behind, and we have, uh, right, we have a Hoppip, yay, Houndour, Hum yeah, Houndour, Houndour, Hound Marik, I love that card, Nosepass, uh, a Feebas, I forgot Feebas even existed, but he does, I don't think I have that card actually. A Gabite, an Emolga, oh. 
lots of throws all in a row. A row of throw. Ooh, a reverse breviary. That's that's pretty nice actually. I like breviary. Um, and a breviary. Okay, and a breviary. Yay! Cool. There we are. That's. No, that's never happened to me before, but cool, well done, but well done pack. Uh, well played, well played. Okay, boundaries crossed. The only set I have with like two EXs in so far. So if I get an EX in here, I will be really, really, really happy. I mean, that's true for every pack I open ever, though, admittedly. So it's not like, you know, just, oh God, I've decimated this pack. Uh, let's just get the talent out. There we are. Okay. Take that away. Two, three, two, boom. Let's see. We have a Pikachu. A Tailo. A Scolopede. Uh, a Venipede. Sorry, not Scolopede. Because uh, Scolopede's the final one, isn't it? Yeah. Gligger. Hmm, lots of these cards I've never seen actually. Um, we have a Voltorb in the jungle. Because Voltorbs hang out in jungles, because, you know, that's their kind of environment. Skarmory! We have an Azumarill. Oh, that's an adorable Azumarill. We have a Great Ball. It's pretty handy, I believe. A Reverse uh, Petty Leal. Oh. That's a, that's a really nice pity leel there. And we have... A, oh shit, son! A hollow su superior! Oh, cool! Wow! Two hollows in one group of cards. That's really awesome. Ooh! I am, I am happy with that. That's a nice hollow there. Ooh! Okay. Well, right. I am doing well here. Uh... Only one more pack to go, which is Plasma Blast, something I've not opened many of, actually. Uh, so let's see. Oh, opening this pretty well. Okay. I'm, uh, not decimated it yet. Let's see that now. Uh, sorry, a bit of a wobble on the table there. Good card. So one, two, three. One, two. Okay, let's get to it. Axiom. We have a Shellnet, which I'm not a fan of. The artwork there is a bit weird. It's, yeah, it's okay. Well, ooh, Kangaskhan. Cool. I've not seen him in card form in years. Like, genuinely years. When was the last set Kangaskhan was in before Blast? Um, let me know in the comments if, if anyone's watching this video. Snova! We have a ma uh, matchup. I really dislike that artwork as well. Uh, we have a, a Glalie, a Plasma Glalie, I believe. That, that actually kind of suits him because, you know, dark blue, he's kind of ice and shit. Uh, we have an Obama Snow. Cool. Not seen that card either. Uh, right, we have a Tirotuga, which. Uh, you know, turtles are cool. I like turtles. We have a reverse Dredigan. I reached the reverse where I thought I would have. That's pretty cool, yeah. Dredigan's, he's, he's a pretty chill dragon. Oh shit, son! Okay, ah, wow! And a Verizian EX. Oh, wow! Holy fuck, this has been a good box. This has been an incredible box, and wow! Now I have an EX. I. Wait a second, hang on. Is this full art? I think it is. Yes. It's... Oh shit, yeah, that... Yes! Ah! Okay, well, okay. wow. That's... That's a... Okay then. Well, <laughs> Wow. That's... That's an end to this video that's... Wow. Okay. So, let's round it up. The cards... Uh, right, got a breviary. Yeah, I got one, but whatever. And a fucking Lucario Hollow. Yes, 
Just yes, yes. Superior Hollow. Yeah, hell yeah. Fucking Verizia DX, that's awesome! Oh, this is... Wow, this has been a brilliant box. The, the figures are pretty cool, the promos are pretty damn awesome, and... The cards, wow, well... Huh. Well, okay. Well, th this this has been this has been one of my best openings, I think, that I've done. Um, so yeah. So thank you very much for watching and stuff, I guess. And um, and uh, I'll, what what I'm gonna put up more videos soon. So until next time, goodbye.